Now back to Inside West Virginia Politics with Mark Curtis. I just thought we had the opportunity to expand it a little bit more. There are some associate degree programs in the four-year regional institutions, just giving them the opportunity to participate and, and go to school and, get, and, and it helps everybody, helps families. Well, I think we need to be careful with taxpayer dollars. I think this is a wonderful program. Tennessee was uh, started this. We're kind of modeling what we're doing after them. I believe when they began, they kind of did a similar uh, rollout with just the community and technical colleges. And welcome back to Inside West Virginia Politics, where we're discussing education in our first couple of segments uh, this week. Just a point of order here, we have invitations out to Republican senators and delegates to come in and give their point of view on the current uh, uh, education bill that's going through. We'll have them on in the coming weeks to discuss it. But right now I want to introduce Dr. William K. Simmons. For 21 years, he was the president of Glenville State University here in West Virginia. Great Thank to you. meet you, Dr. Simmons. Thank you. We should mention he was also on the state, he was chancellor of the Board of Regents, yes, right? For, for a few years as well. Busy guy in the world of education. What are your thoughts as you walk through here today. What do we need to be doing uh, in education, not only K-12, but higher education? Let's start with K-12 first. Well, I, I think uh, I've trained teachers for most of my career, and uh, when I got on a county school board, I learned a lot about public schools that I didn't know when I was the president of a college. Uh, I think that today's teachers are faced with a lot of social problems that teachers in my day were not. And I think that our teacher education programs need to be upgraded to a point where the, those who are going to be teachers take additional work in counseling and psychology and social work education. Because every teacher faces students who are facing tremendous social problems and uh, we can't ignore it because they come to school with these problems. So our teacher training needs to be upgraded to reflect today's schools. I also uh, am concerned at the lack of content that many of our students are getting. A lot of that has to do with the uh, lack of qualified teachers, math in particular. And uh, as an English teacher, I still believe in writing papers. Uh, I, I think that uh, it's not only learning to write, but it's a mental discipline. Well, I agree. As a, as a news reporter, writing is still the most important skill in what we do. I want to talk to you, <coughs> excuse me, about something that passed in the Senate here this week, and that is the great tuition assistance to go to community and technical colleges in the state. I ask you because Glenville State came up in the discussion. Not every community has a two-year community college, and some people thought that funding, <coughs> again, should extend to Glenville State in some of the four-year schools. Your thoughts? Well, when I was president of Glenville, we had not only four-year programs, but we had two-year programs in forestry, uh, surveying, and environmental technology. Uh, we had a two-year program in petroleum engineering technology. So there is room for the two-year technical programs at what has been a traditional four-year school. And I, I think that probably the state made a mistake in separating community colleges from parent institutions because many students took two-year degrees in a technical field and then stayed to get, uh, say, a business management degree, a four-year degree, and went into business for themselves. It made a good fix. Now, I should mention the Republicans uh, who, who passed this bill, it was actually unanimous, but they were the ones that insisted it just be two years. Many of the Democrats wanted to expand it to four years. They say it's a funding issue. They would like to expand it to four-year colleges, too, down the road, as long as we can come up with the money. Well, I, I think, uh, for one thing, when you look at per capita income in our state, the most needy students are probably ones who cannot afford today's tuition and fees. And I think that uh, we need to get an educated workforce, we also need to extend that same opportunity to those who want to become teachers. We have to have an incentive to get good teachers in our classrooms. And one way you do that is to make it affordable. Uh, right now, the level of debt for an average West Virginia family going to it for a four-year degree is uh, it, it's very difficult. And when I was president of Glenville, we always said you get a good education at an affordable cost. Yeah. Well, you're down here fighting the legislation. If you have, we have just a minute left, if there's one thing you think the House and Senate should pass and do this year, what would it be that they're not doing maybe right now? Well, I, I think that uh, obviously the salary increase and uh, shoring up PEIA, that's, that's very important. Should that be tied to other issues like charter schools, school choice, the vouchers, or should all these issues be separated I out? think probably the best result will be to separate those issues and, and uh, evaluate each one on its own merit. 
It's been a fascinating discussion. You just stopped me here in the hallway. We said, hey, you'd be a great guest on this show. <laughs> Longtime educator, Dr. William K. Simmons, former president of Glenville State for 21 years and yeah. chancellor of the Board of Regents here in West Virginia. Thank you for sharing your insight and come back and join us sometime, okay? Thank you. All right, we're going to have more of Inside West Virginia Politics. We're talking broadband next after this break.